Here's another quick tip that I think that uh, you might find beneficial. Uh, bear in mind that if you are following all the steps during the bidding process and you're costing your jobs within the system and you can you display summary totals you'll see the screen here that shows your gross profit uh, on the job now let me just go back f1 and do an f12 to see how i got there this is the screen that i can apply my discounts and my markup based on the material codes for frames and doors so i just hit the enter key and i come up with a number and then i'll do an f3 to display my hardware, put in my hardware by manufacturer, by subtype, my discounts and my markup, and I come up with a price. So once I've come up with that, I hit the enter key, I do an F1 to return, F1 to return to the main opening maintenance schedule screen, and then I do a F13, which is shift F1, and that displays what my bid value is. And if you'll notice, over here, it's $35,144.09. So let's say you negotiated the job and you sold it at 35 even, but they ask you for a schedule of values. Well, you can use the numbers, the net numbers for your schedule of values. Um, all, also, what you can do is if you want to change your uh, schedule of values to front load the job or change around the values, this is a very quick and easy way to do it. Let me show you very quickly. F1 to get out. And we want to do an F2 to go to the header screen. And then an F2 again takes us to, to the lump sum. Now, let me just take out these values. And I can change the value to 35 for the whole job, 1,000. Field exit. Hit the enter key and then F5 to calculate the net. And then do F1 to go back, F1 to go back again, and F13. You'll see that it changed the value to $34,999.94. So it kind of rounded it off to the penny. Now, and so, so the system uh, changed the GPs accordingly. But let's say we want to change that very quickly. F1, oops, sorry, F2 to the header, F2 again. And we're going to create a schedule of value by product. So on the wood doors, let's say we're going to, uh, we want the value of the wood doors to be $10,000 even. So it's 10, 1, 2, 3, and two, two decimal places for the pennies. And then we want to go to hollow metal frames. And we want to make that also $10,000. And then to the hardware, we want to make it 15000 even. I hit the enter key, F5 to recalculate those numbers, F1 to go back, F1 to go back, and F13, and you'll see now that all the dollars have changed, and now you can see the revised GP dollars, gross profit dollars, by your schedule of values. And you can use these are the values that when you transfer over to job accounting, will transfer over. So this concludes this quick tip. Uh, again, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. My name is Frank Pena. You can contact me at uh, frank at frankpena.com. Thank you.